Hey everybody. Uh, so in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, initialize capture, PCB editor, and uh, DFM now here. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is create some folders. Uh, I just created a folder with a cool little icon here. Um, name it whatever you want. But inside of here you're going to want to name these as, the, as I've got them named here. So backups, projects, step, and symbols. Uh, there's a document that specifies exactly all the files that are inside each of one of these that is going to be on the uh, ESD blog. Um, so after you have these, uh, these folders created inside of a folder on your desktop, go ahead and close out of that. And um, you're going to need to have the capture INI downloaded. This should be on the ESD blog as well. This is what's inside of the uh, inside of this INI file. It's basically just a note or a uh, uh, text document. And right here where it says directory one, you're gonna need to insert the direct, uh, the location of the directory of your symbols folder that you created earlier. So all you have to do to do that is go ahead and open that symbols folder and then click up here and then you can right click copy and then go back to the INI and paste that line in there. Then go ahead and save that and you can close out of both of these. And then you're gonna go ahead and open design entry CIS. And once you have this open, the first thing you're going to want to do is go down here and you're going to see that it gives you a location of the INI on your computer. You're going to want to highlight that and hit Control C. I don't, you can't right click, so Control C is the only way to copy that. And then you're going to go ahead and open up a, a folder again and go to that location. And go ahead and delete out the capture INI section and hit enter. That'll take you directly to that folder. And what you should do is just take this folder off your desktop or wherever you have it stored and replace the current capture INI that's in there. If you're doing this on the school computer, you're going to have to do this every single time. Um, I would recommend saving the capture INI after you've done it and because it's going to load other settings inside of it that you've set inside the program. And once that's done, you can uh, save this and then copy over it every time you open up because it'll delete it um, after you close out. So once that's done, you can go ahead and close out of that. And then you can open up PCB Editor. Again, you're gonna just select the first license, hit OK. Once that opens, go ahead and go up to Setup, and then go to User Preferences. Now your favorites is gonna be blank, so you won't see anything here. Um, I would recommend putting these things in your favorites in case you ever have to change them, but to locate the first thing, it's autosave. Um, that is in file management here, and then go to autosave. Go ahead and click the favorite for the first one, the third one, and the fourth one, and then check this autosave box. Name this whatever you want, just so you know what the which one it is. I just name it PCB autosave. And then I changed my autosave time to 10 minutes. It gives a summary description down here of what each one of these is, too, if you're curious exactly what it is and what it's doing. And then you can go ahead and close that one and go to Paths and then Library. The three that are important here is Pad Path, PSM Path, and Step Path. So go ahead and make those your favorites. And then you can go to the Pad Path first. And the first thing you're going to want to do is click the New and you're going to want to go back to your files again. You're going to want to find the symbols folder, go into it, and you're going to want to copy that location and then paste it in here and hit OK. You'll do the same thing for the PSM path, click New again and paste, hit OK. And then for the step path, the only difference is, is you're going to pick the step folder. The steps are uh, 3D models. This, this, step, this part of it's only necessary if you're gonna do 3D modeling with it. Click OK and hit Apply. Now that uh, PCB Editor has been initialized, you can go ahead and close out of that. And the last thing you're gonna wanna do is open up DFM now. I've got some Gerbers loaded in here and the first thing you're going to want to do is go up here to DFM. You don't need to have any Gerbers loaded in to do this, but um, you're going to want to go to Rules Management here, and you're going to see that you only have Mass Check and Standard PCB here. 
We've created our own file here to uh, check off your board with, for Peralta's Mill. So you're going to go ahead and click open and you're going to find the file that you downloaded from the uh, ESD blog which I currently have it sitting on my desktop. It's a .drf and it's called Peralta Mill Specs. You're going to go ahead and click open and now that's inside of there. You can click uh, finish and you can run the DFM check. You'll want to make sure that you have the correct file, the correct rule set set when you're uh, running this. And when you, uh, as this will, I'll show this in a Gerber viewer tutorial, but uh, you can click next and then it let it run its. It will check to see if you have any issues in your board that Mer Peralta's mill may have an issue milling. All right, now all the programs are initialized.